Hello everybody. This is Bui from Mama Bui's Kitchen. I hope you are having a great day. Sometimes the simplest dishes are the best and that's what we do here guys at Mama Bui's Kitchen. Today we are going to make simple easy roasted butternut squash with sage. So guys, let's get started. You know Mama Bui doesn't like to waste time. First things first, cut off quarter inch from the stem end. Then we're gonna cut the butternut into one inch round discs. As you know guys, butternut can be intimidating to cut. So you need to have a large sharp knife. They are round, hard, thick and dense. There are so many easy methods out there guys to peel and cut butternut squash but this method here is what i've been using for years it's just like bread and butter to me guys <laughs> next we're gonna scoop out the seeds using a teaspoon even a spoon will work but i prefer teaspoon i don't know why <laughs> Okay guys, now we are done removing the seeds from the bulb end. You can discard the seeds or set them aside to roast them. Next, using a paring knife, peel the butternut squash. Next, cut the butternut into bite-sized chunks. Now place the cut butternut squash pieces into a baking pan. I'm using 13 by 9 inches baking pan here guys. Spread the butternut chunks across the pan. Then we're going to go ahead and season with salt and sugar. Then set aside. So here I'm using sage guys. I'm gonna go ahead and chiffonate it. What I like to do, I like to stack the sage leaves, then cut them thick lengthwise. Another method, you can just roll it, then you can cut it thin like when you are cutting basil now add sage to the butternut then use your hand to mix everything together guys you can use gloves you can use a spoon but I'm using my hands they are clean and washed okay I just realized that I ran out of the gloves. 
I just want to make sure that the sugar and the salt are well mixed in with the banana squash. Toss in olive oil and mix well. Let me quickly wash my hands. We're gonna roast the butternut on a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes until tender and lightly brown, tossing halfway through. I just pulled out the butternut out of the oven, guys. The aroma, it smells so good in here, guys. Stir everything together, then transfer to a bowl and serve. There you have it, guys. Roasted butternut squash with sage. One thing I like about butternut squash is delicious and versatile. And when paired with sage, the sage brings out the herbal flavor that is earthy, slightly peppery taste sweet and somewhat bitter i hope you enjoyed this video guys please consider subscribing like share and comment thanks for watching until next time guys bye honey for my heart